Complaints of mishandled, delayed, and lost luggage are sky high this year. Luckily, there are several things that you can do to prepare a checked bag or suitcase that are going to limit the chances of things going wrong. In today's video, I'll be running through some essential tips and hacks that are going to be relevant for anyone checking a bag on their next flight. The first thing that you can do to prepare your checked bag for a flight takes place before you even zip your suitcase up, which would be to take photos of everything that you are packing. There are several reasons that you'll want to do this. The first is because if your luggage is lost and you need to make a claim with the airline or with your travel insurance, you will be able to show the contents that were lost and then increase your chances of actually receiving the compensation you deserve to replace these items. Another reason you'll want to take photos of the contents of your bag would be to be able to identify your belongings if the luggage tags on the exterior of your suitcase were lost. And in an awful case where your suitcase is searched and then perhaps not closed properly after, or it's been overstuffed and ends up exploding during travel, having photos of what you packed will allow you to identify and claim the individual items that belong to you. It really does happen. The second thing that you should consider doing if you are checking a bag would be to add a note or a business card with your contact information to the interior of your suitcase. In a case where the exterior luggage tags are lost, you will be very happy that you did this. The reason you'll want to use an internal zipper pocket or even taping your contact information to the interior of your luggage would be because if your bag is searched or it were to come undone and be open during transit, the little note that you just add to the inside of your suitcase may be lost. You could take this tip a step further, and I recommend that you do, by printing out a copy of your boarding pass and also placing this in the interior of your suitcase, in a secured spot. This third tip is absolutely essential and will most likely help you avoid a nightmare situation of your suitcase coming apart during transit. That would be to invest in a quality checked bag. I once checked a suitcase full of souvenirs from China. It was a huge mistake to use cheap luggage as the zipper broke and all of the contents ended up scattered among other people's luggage. Everything was lost. Choosing to save a couple bucks by buying a cheap suitcase was nowhere near the financial loss and the added stress that that suitcase coming apart added to the trip home. The check suitcase that I recommend is the Voyager by Level 8. This one has a TSA approved lock for extra security and to limit the chances of the suitcase popping open. It also includes compartments inside with wet dry separation and has a unique handle design that is going to give you even more space inside. I'm very happy to have partnered with Level 8 on this video and in addition to giving you free shipping to many countries around the world, you can also find a code to save 10% on your next purchase with Level 8 down in the description. The next thing that you may want to do if you plan to check a suitcase is actually also relevant to this suitcase. I mentioned that the Voyager has this fancy, unique handle design that's going to give you more packing space. This is a huge benefit, but you are going to want to make sure that all of the space in your checked bag is filled. I'm not saying to pack more, but even just placing plastic bags to fill any gap when packing is going to help your items from shifting and potentially being damaged while your bag is in transit being tossed on and off the plane. You'll also want to do everything that you can when preparing your checked bag to limit the chances of having TSA open your bag and search it since they may not repack items properly or even close your suitcase fully. The best way to avoid a search is to know what items are prohibited in a checked bag so your bag is not flagged for a search due to a questionable item appearing on the scanner. I have a full video on what you can and can't pack in a checked bag linked below. And moving on to the outside of your checked bag, you will want to make sure that there are no stickers or baggage tags from previous trips. Take a few minutes before you head to the airport to remove all existing labels and tags from your past trips. These may include destination bag tags as well as those little barcode stickers that get put on your suitcase. You don't want there to be any confusion about where your bag is headed, so make sure that these are removed. And then once everything from past trips has been removed, it's time to add your own unique identifiers to the exterior of your luggage as well as a quality luggage tag. I like these ones from Level H because they have this little flap that's going to cover your contact information so it's not all out on display as you go through the airport. And because check bags need all the help that they can get this year, I also like to use 
two of them. In addition to using luggage tags, try to make your bag as unique as possible with things that are easy to identify but also difficult to remove. A couple things I like to do would be adding stickers to my bag as well as tying on different ribbons. Another genius and very inexpensive thing that you can add to your luggage would be a luggage sleeve. There are several reasons why these are helpful in addition to just being super cute. It's going to help you easily identify your suitcase. It's also going to help keep your suitcase held together and prevent it from coming apart in transit. They also prevent against theft since someone cannot easily unzip your bag. They have to go through the whole process of taking the luggage sleeve off first. I know this is getting a little long, but we are almost done. There are only a few more things that you can do to help protect your checked luggage. In addition to taking photos of the things that you are packing inside of your suitcase, you'll also want to take photos of the exterior of your suitcase. If your bag is delayed or lost and you go to retrieve it, the first thing an agent is going to ask you is what does your bag look like? If you can show a photo, this is so much easier than trying to describe it. To best track your bag, you could also consider putting an electronic tracker, such as an Apple AirTag, inside of your bag when you do check it. These can be expensive, but if you do happen to have an Apple AirTag attached to your keys already, just throw it on in inside the suitcase so you can keep track of it during your trip. Just make sure you take it off of the keys, as keys, as well as any other valuables or things that you absolutely need, should never go inside of a checked bag. Another way that you can keep track of your checked bag for free would be to download the airline's app. Many airlines now offer digital luggage receipts and bag tracking with their apps. So by having the app downloaded and ready to go, you may be able to keep tabs on your luggage throughout the trip. Following these guidelines to prepare your checked luggage will significantly reduce your chances of the airline losing, damaging, or even delaying your belongings. And in an unfortunate case where your luggage is still lost, these tips are going to help you get it back as quickly as possible, or at the very least, claim the compensation that you deserve. I hope you'll join us back here next week where I'll be covering some specific things that you need to do when you arrive at the airport if you intend to check a bag, as well as how you can ensure that your suitcase is one of the first ones out on the luggage belt when you arrive at your destination. Thank you so much for watching, safe travels, and I'll see you back here next week. Bye.